Why this town ain't big enough for the two of us? We gon' have to have us a shootout. Nah, it's alright, I've already decided. We are not building the Overflood Tyrant. Overflood, this is a new brand, I think. I've not I've not heard it. Yeah, they did. The, no, they made the entity. It's not a new brand. It's a brand that just makes supercars. They are very boring. Although that's a really nice looking car. It looks exactly the same. I do, it doesn't. It looks somewhat different, but it looks similar. It's bored of the supercars. So we're going to the classics today, and we're going with the Vapid Dominator GTX. The Vapid Dominator is back with a GTX model, and it looks absolutely amazing. As you can tell, we bought it in the nice orange to start us off with. Really, really, really instantly, you already know exactly what this If you don't know what this car is, you're not American, okay? And to completely understand that. It's a Dodge Charger. I mean, it's a little bit of a weird Dodge Charger. The lights, are debatable whether they actually look nice, but it overall, I think it looks really cool. It looks more like a Dodge Dart at the back, <laughs> which is uh, fitting, actually, because it's also one of their cars. But let's have a listen. Where's the meter V8? That's that's a meter V8. It's pretty much what you expect, isn't it? I used the Dominator as my absolute first car on GTA Online. Uh, I say that. That was like my sixth account. Because you remember the beginning of the game when they all got deleted? All the accounts got deleted like multiple times. Yeah, well, I got I was one of those. I got to like level 30, level 20, level 30. And it got deleted every bloody time. Anyway, this I'm actually looking forward to. I was, I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that the Supra would come out because they accidentally released uh, an update. The, the highway's over there. They released an update for the game accidentally and it was absolutely hilarious. I was a little bit frustrated because I thought they actually genuinely released it. And I was in Sweden at the time when they released all the cars by accident. So I was like, I was like, no, I've got to rush and do it and get it. But fortunately, there was a mistake and they actually removed those cars, which... I thought it was a little bit dumb. They could have handled it a little bit better. Those that had them, I think they should have kept them because it would have taunted people to come and, you know, next time when they actually release, you should probably get them. Like, that, that would be cool, like a limited hey, run on, thing. Call. Let's go. I'm kind of bored of doing supercar, 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 supercar. I mean, I feel like we've had too many in a row. Uh, I do like that they release two at a time instead of one. It gives you the varying option of super or non-super, so that's cool. Uh, but I do wish that the, the supercar, even the higher end car stuff, there was some more exciting, like, sports car stuff. Like, wh where are the sports cars? It's, it's all, like, hyper or supercars in this game now. Army feels like they should do, like, a proper hypercar thing. But at the same time, they've got some hypercars in the supercars, and they've already kind of the, missed a chance on that, haven't they? The, it literally looks exactly like the real car in here. It looks cheap and, and plastic. That's the thing I find with a lot of American cars. You get in there, it's, like, pleather. It's got the pleather smell. It's not a new car smell, it's pleather. <laughs> Look at all the tiny... It's, actually, I don't know if it's very... It might be European market because I don't know if American would fit in there. Yes, I have been level 294 for uh, weeks, months. It feels like months. Because apparently my level doesn't like to go up. I, I reached max level and it goes back. And it's been a problem for bloody age and it kind of frustrates me because I loved leveling up on this game by playing death matches. It's all legit. What like most people, I feel, cheated their level. I genuinely got to like level 100 and something to get the minigun. And then the glitches happened. But I still... I look so small in this car. But I kept going and grinding the death matches and stuff and doing the races. And it's frustrating. It's fr very frustrating indeed. Okay. Let's jump into the customization. I'm hoping this is going to be nice. The front bump of the grillness. I'm not a not massive fan of it. Hopefully we can change that. We're just going to add an extendy bit. A nicer orange extendy bit. A black extendy bit. And a sticking bomb extendy bit. I'm going to go with the carbon. I'm going to go with that. Uh, engine. We can actually change the brace bar, which is cool. Look at the size. And it's got actual animations. You can see, they're taking hints from GTA Wise Guy right there. Robin, you're making Rockstar do stuff. Can you believe it? That actually wanna maybe maybe they just stole it from Robin, actually. I think Robin did something similar. Engine upgrade all the way. Well, how fast is this actually? That's actually pretty fast. That's almost supercar territory. Um I, I, nothing to really compare it to because I haven't built a muscle car like this in ages, but the back end, I'm it's growing on me a lot. I think the exhaust have to be at the side, otherwise it's gonna really throw off the balance. Like in the middle, it looks like it's trying to be a supercar too much. That's my opinion on that. So I'm not going to go with the center exhaust unless something different occurs. But that makes it smaller than the stock. That's just ridiculous. It's like <laughs> on the sides. And uh, hope do we have like a side mount one? No, we don't. I'm actually sticking with the standard exhaust. The standard exhaust is definitely the nicest. And the fenders. Uh, I'm not really one for a body arch. Like the we if the wheels fit the arches. 
then yeah, but that's just stupid. The archers don't fit. It's not cambered. They've not even bloody tried. Second, secondary, second. Oh, it's a different color. Okay, then we got carbon ones, those, and those. Why? Why in the hell the wheels don't fit? I don't. I'm gonna put them on, and maybe at some point we can change the wheels, right? There we we can change the grill. Hallelujah! I was a little bit worried. It's just kind of looking at me like some angry turtle at the moment. I need to make something a little bit more exciting, something more aggressive. I'm hoping we've got some kind of uh, intake that we can show on display. No, we just got some like weird teeth looking thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think one of these, uh, do we have it in a, a not chrome? I, I kind of feel like if I put it on chrome, it might look a bit silly. So let's go with you. A little bit like more mainstream, cool, nice hoods. We could go with a clean hood. That's, it looks a little bit weird with a clean hood. And since it comes stock with hood vents, it looks a bit silly. Uh, we could go with like a big meaty hood vent. We could go with a carbon hood. It's been ages since I did a carbon hood. And I don't know why. I've just, I, I feel like I've gone off it a little bit. And it's, it's not like me. I'm going for more the, the cleanness for, for, for now. Uh, this so far. Oh, okay. No, I don't change my mind. We go, should we go with the carbon? Or do we go with the normal? I'm going to try the normal for now. You would not kiss it because I would not allow it because she would be mine. Mud guards, throw those on. Plate, you already know. That makes it the secondary color and that changes it to carbon and then there's a black one. I actually like the black one. What do I like the car? I like the black. That's cool. That's very cool. Color I'll do in a minute. Roof. We got roof options as well. We got like a little dent in it. We're removing the dent, We're fixing it. <laughs> Sport, sports roof. It's got roof scoops basically. There's like flat roof scoops. Performance roof. Secondary. Um, I want, I want roof scoop. Roof scoop. It has a roof scoop. <laughs> And it's got a vo vo vortex spoiler, so we're gonna go. I thought something like really weird popped on the screen there. I would love to have a combination of that and a roof scoop, but I'm gonna go with a big roof scoop. I think Mark II. Which one do I want? Like a normal size or a big one? I'm gonna go with a big roof scoop, the biggest roof scoop. Nope, don't sell it. Skirts. Need some skirts on. I just skipped all the way. We've got black ram bar on the side. That's crazy. I like the the low down. I like the carbon. That's winning me over so far. The whole bottom bit there was carbon. That would be nice. A Mark 1 Ram Bar. That is cool. That is pretty cool, actually. If there were more Ram Bar options around the car, that would be actually a more viable option. But I think because I want this thing to look cool, uh, I'm actually just going to go with this option right here. I would, again, like this option, but I wish the whole bottom of it was carbon. I feel like that's a, that's a missed opportunity there, Rockstar. Let's try again. 18 spoilers. GT Wing straight away. Very nice indeed. What's this one do? Secondary color. They're on sale, those ones, if you want one of those. Pick them, pick them up now, don't worry. <laughs> but the customization of the thing, I'm impressed. I was going in ex half expecting it to be not that great. We've got a nice big spoiler. Oh, it's a big one. Do we actually have any bigger than that? We've got an up spoiler, which is like the one on the Civic on Need for Speed, which is... <gasps> oh! That is a spoiler. What's it called? It's called a garage spoiler. Garage spoiler because Johnson in his garage decided, yes, today I'm going to make a stupid, stupid wing. Transmission, race transmission, turbo. Let's slap in a turbo in there. I would rather a supercharger. Wheel type, high end. It has this type of wheel that you can actually already get. So I'm going to put those on and make them black. Like window tint, I think. Yes, indeed. And it's now down to the color. It's a shame there's no like design options as in like stripes or something. That would be super, super sweet. I'm kind of second guessing that hood. Uh, I liked the stock hood because it just felt it felt proper. So I might stick with the stock hood. I think that's actually one of my favorites. And then I want to do a respray. Again, color is always difficult with these cars. I always, it's the thing I struggle with the most. We've got orange, like separate color uh, light um, door, door handles and wing mirrors. There we go, got out in the end. That's actually pretty nice. That's gonna be, I'm gonna make them black, obviously. So I'm gonna do that first because that makes sense. I'm not really keen on those arches. <laughs> They're really like throwing me off here. And it kind of annoys me that there's a mud stain on the side of my car still. That kind of caught my eye for a second, but the blue, see, ah, I'm gonna spend an hour doing this. Don't mind me. It is a big shame those wheels don't fit those arches. It really annoys me when games do that. So, um, Part of me wants to take them off, but it does look cool at the same time. Ah, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Look at this beautiful car. It looks so perfect. See, okay, I would definitely buy one of these. It's literally like, 
I'm, I'm gonna say it's a challenger charger combination because of the fact the challenger uh, has the, the the single the two doors should I say and that's what I like I like the challenger more personally I like that that's the only thing I'm, I'm taking from the challenger though everything else is charger do not get me wrong it's a beautiful looking car the back reminds me as I said of the dart but other than that, it's literally, it's just a dodge combination. It's a dodge, it's a dodgy car. Nice bit of roof scoop there. And the front just looks so mean. Those arches are really annoying me though. From like certain angles, they look cool because you can't tell. If you looked at it like directly from the side, you'd be like, wow. Rockstar added some cool customization. They are, the wheels fit the, they don't. They don't. Looks a little bit silly. Why not let us camber them a lot? Anyway, someone I know is going to Photoshop it. And if you do Photoshop it, please, you know, send me on Twitter in the Discord. Send it in the Discord. Uh, there's a link down below for my server if you want to come and, and join that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm very impressed with this car. I wasn't too excited for it. I, I'm more excited for the Supra. That's the one I'm waiting for. But the amount of customization on this thing and the fact that it's not a supercar and it's a muscle car. It's like, has Rockstar done many muscle cars? I don't think they've released a muscle car in bloody yonks. For the most part, they were all like the low riders. That's all I remember Rockstar releasing like the last muscle cars. So, it's a nice bit of America on the side of GTA. It's kind of what you want. I mean, it's, it's what it's supposed to be. Again, I'm just the type that likes to build at me. Like, look at all the visual parts that you get. You know my boy, Bruffy. I think that's how he pronounces it. Bruff, bruff, bruff. He's going to do a nice analysis. He's probably already done it by the time I upload this. A nice analysis of how this compares to the other guys my, my dominator was my absolute favorite muscle car of choice to go to with for the longest time and the only thing i replaced it with was one of my like low rider cars that i did when benny's started coming out because you could upgrade those and obviously upgraded the performance and stuff but this surely surely is one of the fastest muscle cars there is like it's got to be up there and the muscle cars are pretty like all around the same level for the most part there isn't much variation in the level so this may actually be a change for it I don't know though. We'll have to wait and see what the, the, the handling is like, the performance is like. It doesn't feel very fast, but I'm used to driving supercar week after week, so excuse me. I'm a little bit disappointed by some of the customization options. As I said, I would like a combination of the final uh, side skirt with the carbon. I would like some more options for maybe actually, you know, as I said, the wheels actually fitting. Uh, I don't know, maybe changing the rear lights a little bit, the exhausts. Like, they're perfect as they are, and every other option kind of ruins it a little bit for me, for what I was going for. But overall, it's a very nice build indeed, and I recommend this one a lot. It's a very expensive damn car, and I don't I don't, I don't, think it's justified at all the price. It's ridiculous. It's close to a million. I think it's like 800,000 for a muscle car. I'm sorry, but I would not spend 800,000 on a damn muscle car. This must be the equivalent to, like, the Hellcats. And... Uh, even so, they don't cost 800 bloody grand, but in Rockstar World, that's how much they cost. Because all the supercars, ignoring the fact that hypercars even exist, cost about 2-3 million. So the economy has really gone, gone to poo on this game. Anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more builds on GTA and more videos on GTA in general, I've actually got a cool video coming out of GTA uh, 4 super soon. I, I'm so glad to finally get back on that game. It was super fun. But uh, you'll see that soon, so be sure to smash like, friends, subscribe if you are new, and remember, Discord link down below in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, guys. Peace.